everyone, welcome back to Education One Australia YouTube channel. It's me, Dia Sapitri, one of Education One consultants and a host that will give you the latest information about studying in Australia. Australia is always giving us international students big news lately. Either it's good or bad, but the one that was just released in April 2022 could be both. As an international student, we'll need the minister's approval before being able to change your course. But before we continue, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn the notification on so you won't miss the latest news from us. So, when will Australia's new student visa rules become official? According to NRI Affairs, the Australian government is announcing new visa rules for Australian student visa subclass 500 holders which will take effect in July. The new Australian Student Visa 2022 rules, which took effect on July 1st, make it more difficult for international students to change course or leave their universities. Under the new law, international students in Australia can only change their courses with the minister's permission. According to the Federal Home Legislation Explanatory Statement, the minister cannot approve the change unless satisfied that there is not an unreasonable risk of unwanted transfer of critical technology by the student, subclass 500 visa holders studying or intending to undertake higher education studies that they do not change their degree or research subject. So, the minister must be satisfied that the visa holder poses no unreasonable risk of transferring critical technology to a foreign country. What's the story behind Australia's new student visa rules? The minister must be satisfied that the visa holder poses no unreasonable risk of transferring critical technology to a foreign country. If the minister determines that there is an unreasonable risk of an unwanted technology and the information transfer, the Australian student visa may be revoked. This applies for any direct or indirect purposes by someone who would first damage or impair Australia's security or defense, including domestic intelligence agencies, operation, capabilities or technologies, method or resources, and public authorities or foreign intelligence agencies within the meaning of the criminal code. Second, cause harm or jeopardize the health and safety of the Australian public or any part of it. Or third, interfere with or obstruct the prevention, detection, investigation, prosecution, or punishment of a criminal offence under the Commonwealth Act. Or the fourth one, Australia's international relation will suffer as a result. Okay, wait, what does critical technology mean? It means the technology of a type specified by the minister for this definition or property of any kind, tangible or intangible, that is used for research, testing, development, or manufacturing. What are the new conditions for student visa subclass 500? The new visa conditions A204A and A204B apply to student visa holders enrolled in higher education or postgraduate research courses and who plan to change their course of study, thesis, or research topic. Otherwise, your student visa in Australia may be revoked by the Department of Home Affairs. The following are the new visa conditions as described on the Australian legislation website are A204A a student visa holder may not change their course of study, thesis, or research topic unless the following conditions are met. The minister is satisfied that there is no unreasonable risk of an unwanted transfer of critical technology by the holder, and the change has been approved in writing by the minister. A204B, a student visa holder may not begin or change a course of study or research, thesis, or research topic for the following reasons a graduate certificate, a graduate diploma, a master's degree, or a doctorate, or any bridging course required as a prerequisite to a master's degree or doctorate course of study or research. Hmm, what impact will be possessed on your student visa? Previously, international students could only change their course of study for six months or longer with the approval of their educational institution. 
The new rules will give the minister the authority to deny an international student's request to change courses if it is in the public's best interest. According to the report, Australian student visa holders can still appeal the minister's decision. The new visa requirements will only apply to student visas issued after July 1, 2022. Applications submitted before this date will be unaffected by the new ruling. International students must not change their course of study or research topic without the minister's approval for a graduate certificate, a graduate diploma, master's degree, or doctorate. A bridging course may be required as a prerequisite for a master's or doctorate course of study or research. Assume your request to change your course is denied. Visa cancellation will then be optional for relevant visas. 13 protection visas and related bridging visas, but mandatory for all other types. Students who is to change their thesis major or research topic must submit form 1212adelaide.student.center@homeaffairs.gov.au. This new Australian student visa 2022 rules will be reflected once they become official. There is currently no information on whether or not this new student visa rules will affect international students studying at other levels in Australia. We, Education One, can help you with your dream study in Australia. Together with our in-house registered migration agents, Wonderland Consulting, we will be able to provide you with legal and professional advice on your chances of obtaining a student visa subclass 500 to Australia. Based on your personal goals, we guarantee that you do not feel like you are studying the wrong course in Australia. We can walk you through each step of obtaining your student visa with ease. Get your completed document checklist in Australia tailored to your specific circumstances and goals. Our experience in obtaining a student visa subclass 500 in a short period has given us confidence in the most recent Australian immigration regulations. If you are unsure of the next steps to take to prepare for your dream education in Australia, or if you want to discuss your visa and the updated regulations, book a free consultation with one of our education specialists. Or contact us, Education on Australia, via email, phone, I, Dia Savitri, want to thank you for watching this video and don't forget to like and share this video to the one who needs this information. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye!